Welcome to Sage Business Cloud Payroll's video that will illustrate how to generate the year-end electronic file and importing it into EasyFile. To easily clear any validations that might be outstanding, we advise that you revert back to the previous tax year, select the year that you want to generate the file for, and you will be rerouted to that tax year. Select the tax certificates from the menu option. If there are buttons on the top right hand side referring to validations, you will need to clear the validations before the file can be generated. Select the tax year you want to generate the file for. Select the submission period as the tax year end. If SARS has not yet opened the submission period for the year, tax year end will not be available to you and you won't be able to continue. Select the appropriate type of submission. The Create Submission button will now be available. If instead it refers to validations, you can refer to our link guide in the description box to assist you with clearing your validations before you can continue. Once you click on Create Submission, select OK if there are zero errors. Your file download will now start automatically. Please take note of what your download file will be called. The generation of reports can take a while to load. Please be patient. You will now be able to save the tax certificates. However, we advise that you not distribute these to employees, but rather use the certificates from EasyFile. The reconciliation report and EMP501 report will also generate. Please save or print these reports to be used later on in your submission and reconciliation. You can now revert back to the current tax year. How to input your file into EasyFile. Log into the SARS EasyFile system. You can select your company and continue. If the company is not listed, you can just select continue. Select import-export payroll file. Select import payroll file. Click on OK as only files saved on the local C drive can be important. Navigate to the download folder. Locate and select the text document that you previously downloaded and click on Open. The file will now either pass or fail the validation. If the file fails validation, please check the reason for failure under Utility, Import Payroll File Log and contact the support team. If it is successful, press OK to import the file. What to do next? We won't be able to further support your submission on the EasyFile platform once the import has been successful. We advise that you make use of the EasyFile guide to complete your submission and print your employee certificates. Thank you for watching our video.